Hi, brother teacher here. I have a great deal of respect for all martial arts masters, grandmasters, instructors in general, and practitioners, period. And with that said, I am still entitled to my viewpoint. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not forget that everyone has a viewpoint or an opinion for some of you. And we are entitled to voice that viewpoint or opinion on any subject matter. It doesn't mean that we're beating up on someone necessarily. It just simply means that this is how we see things through the lenses of our own eyes. And with that said, uh, there's a great man who's passed away now, S. Henry Cho. Taekwondo pioneer in New York. He taught in New York for about 30 or more years. Taekwondo. I have a great deal of respect for him. As a matter of fact, my great grandmaster in Taekwondo and Tong Sudo is Kwan Wan An, who's semi retired now. Uh, albeit, S. Henry Cho made a statement in an interview when asked about Bruce Lee's ability. It's been some years ago around the 80s, the early 90s. And he said, in comparison to Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee was more of an actor than he was a martial artist. And he continued to push that issue that Bruce Lee, you know, he did martial arts and he was good at it. But in his conclusion, Bruce Lee was more of an actor than he was a martial artist. And of course, I know you all know that I vehemently disagree with his analysis. We all know who really know who Bruce Lee was, that Bruce Lee was more than just an actor. Yes, he was indeed an actor. In fact, he started acting when he was a child. Before he came to America, he had already done approximately 20 plus films. He was an actor, starting out. But during that time, he studied Wing Chun and some Tai Chi under his father. But he studied officially Wing Chun under Yip Man, or Yip Man. And he went on to study various other martial arts and to ultimately define himself in his own system called Jeet Kune Do. Chuck Norris, however, was a sport martial arts practitioner. He was a world champion. Yes, he was. But not a world champion street fighter. Not a world champion overall fighter worldwide. But he was a world champion in sport karate. And I've said before and I point out again that there's a distinct difference between sport and actual fighting. I know to this very day and have known in time past sports martial artists that could not fight out of a wet paper bag in a street fight. And I've known and know to this day sport martial arts masters in karateka that are great at sports martial arts fighting and they are also great fighters. But it's not everybody. So when you compare a Bruce Lee to a Chuck Norris as it relates to actual combat and fighting, I do indeed believe that the proof is in the pudding. And it's not based on the sports side of martial arts. It's based on the time, the effort, the synthesis of all of the arts that Bruce Lee has studied, his culmination of arts, and then putting them all together, and then ultimately arriving at his conclusion. And that was Jeet Kune Do. So, Bruce Lee, excuse me, I had a camera issue just for a moment, but I'm not going to stop doing this video. I'm going to see it to its end. Bruce Lee was, again, a great martial artist. He was a great exponent of martial arts. As a matter of fact, and I have to say this in concluding, we have all of these martial arts schools, MMA, Taekwondo, uh, Shotokan, Goju, and so forth, all over America and all over the world. Do you know who that credit goes to? The guy you want to call an actor. How in the world can an actor influence the world to all want to study martial arts and take up some form of self-defense during the 70s? An actor can't just do that alone. But someone who knew what they were doing as it relates to the art of pugilism could. And then he put together that in a package called cinema. And he expressed himself on screen using his form of martial arts that he cultivated, that he developed, that he created for himself. 
Bruce Lee is responsible for why martial arts is what it is today in terms of popularity. Had it not been for Bruce Lee's living and gracing us on this world stage, martial arts would not be what it is today. That's it. And that's really all. Enough said.